Hi, I'm Emma from Story Drawing Club and I have been working together with Zed Arts to create a fun story writing book inspired by the tiger who came to tea. Children have been drawing themselves and their family just like Judith did and now we want to inspire children at home who might want to be the next Judith Kerr and write and illustrate their very own stories. Each week I will share one of my top tips as an illustrator. So this week's top tip is to get a sketchbook. Sketchbooks are an amazing place just to have fun and practice and not be too precious about your drawings and it's where all my ideas start. So I'm going to show you how to draw a portrait today. Um, so if you start off by drawing an oval shape and don't worry if it's quite rough because you can always change the shape later. Um, and then I usually put a sort of line somewhere around the middle of the face um, and horizontally from top to bottom as well. Um, and this is because your eyes sit in the middle, around the middle of your face and it's a really good place to start drawing your eyes. So when I'm looking at drawing the face I usually start with an eye and I try and break down the face into shapes. So if we look at the eye it's kind of an oval shape or some people would say it's shaped a bit like a lemon. So it's just trying to copy those shapes. And the iris and the pupil are almost circular, so it's again just looking at the eye in front of you that you're drawing and seeing where those lines meet the eyelid. So when you're drawing the nose, try and look at the shape of the bottom of your nose. Um, so I try and look at that wiggly line looking around the nostrils and the tip of the nose and then moving on to the mouth um, I'm looking at the top shape of the mouth which you could almost say was an M shape and then again the line in between the top and bottom lip has tends to have a little dip in the middle so it's not an exact straight line and then the curved bottom lip can be added and joined up to those corners so at this point I switch to charcoal to draw the eyebrows but again just carry on pencil if you don't have charcoal um, and then just look at the shapes again of the eyebrows, the kind of like long chunky lines and you can start to draw in that texture of the hair as well. And then next you want to start looking at the hair and try and catch that the movement of the hair. So the hair I'm drawing today of my daughter is quite wavy. Um, but also quite straight, so I'm just going to roughly follow the shapes and the slight curls in her hair. Um, so trying to really capture that kind of movement. Don't worry about being exact, don't worry if you make any mistakes, drawing is just about practicing, about having a go and if you just get close to impression of, of the person you're drawing then that's just brilliant. And then I like to go back into the drawing at the end and um, use either the charcoal or a darker pencil just to add a bit more details and to maybe strengthen some of the lines. So when we're drawing portraits I always get asked about drawing different hair types so I'm just going to do a quick exercise on three different hair types now for you. So I'm going to start off by drawing some braids because I always get asked about drawing braids um, and again it's just, it's not, you don't need to be too accurate, you can just use some nice 
kind of long for this hairstyle long wiggly lines which you start kind of overlapping over the top of each other and this really works well to give that impression of braided hair. And then you just keep layering up, layering up those long little lines and keep going until you get that kind of effect that you want. So moving on to the next hairstyle, I often get asked how to do very short curly hair. So again, it's looking for the shapes, so you can sort of see in curly hair, tight little circles. So I just tend to do, again, quite quickly, um, lots and lots of circles, building them up, keep building until you end up with the effect of curly hair. Finally, I often get asked how to draw plaited hair, like a, a big long plait, so um, again just drawing that in, especially if it's tied up, um, then you can just again quite quickly use this kind of pattern to get that effect of a big plait. And again, it, you don't need to be really accurate, you can just give the impression of a hairstyle and um, yeah, just work into it as much or as little as you want. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the drawing session. Um, please do keep your portraits because we'll be using these next time for our character drawing session and I hope to see you then.